All right, ladies, let's go ahead and start off with our warm up. Let's warm up our bodies with some jumping jacks, warming up our upper body, our legs, our shoulders, holding in our core nice and tight. Good job, making sure you're keeping your posture nice and upright. Breathing in and out, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Go ahead and bring your knees up to your chest, keeping your foot flexed or neutral. Good job, keep breathing nice and deep. Good job, keep going. All right, last one. Now we're gonna transition into some butt kicks. Now make sure that you're actually really trying to reach your glutes for this one. Really helps to stretch out those quads when you're kicking your butt. Keeping your core nice and tight, posture nice and upright, standing tall. Warming up that body. I hope you guys are feeling strong and feeling great. We're almost done with the first week and we have more workouts coming, so stay tuned. All right, keep it up, keep going. You got it. Make sure you're not leaning forward or leaning back. And we're gonna warm up our lower body with one of my favorite compound movements you guys know. If you're not sore in your legs, I want you to do this, just some nice, slow squats. Now why I love squats, you guys know it's great for labor, you guys know it's great to work your entire lower body, your glutes, your legs, all that jazz. Um, but it's something you can do and you can do so many different variations of it to really get a good workout without the gym. So really focus on that mind-muscle connection, right? Keeping your mind in the body part that you're working. That's what makes our workouts really, really impactful, is that we're focusing on the muscle group. So right here, glutes, quads, squeeze your glutes when you come up, down, nice and slow. Squeeze your glutes when you come up. That's how we're gonna see our body change. You don't need to do any crazy workouts in order to see really powerful change. It's all about this consistency. All right, so as always, make sure you have some dumbbells ready. We're also gonna warm up our upper body before we get started. Uh, and I'm gonna have my 10 pound dumbbells here per usual. And I also have, um, let's see over here, I have my, those are my five pounds. Then I also have my 15s by those. But let's warm up our upper body a little bit before we get started. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what pound of dumbbells should, should you invest in if you're a beginner. And I would say maybe anywhere between five and 10. 10 for your lower body moves and maybe five to 7.5 for your upper body. Go ahead and stretch out that neck a little bit. And we're gonna get started. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off with my five pounds. I'm not starting with my 15 pounds because we wanna make sure that we're warming up our body and building up to getting heavier. So let's start off with a lateral raise to a bicep curl, toning our upper body so we look like mom beasts while we're walking around. <laughs> so lift it out, making sure you're not swaying your body. I do not wanna see any bodies moving around too much. Just keep the focus in your biceps here and then your shoulders, biceps, shoulders, boom. Keep going. Good. Bicep, shoulder, very good. Now for the shoulder here, make sure that your elbows are facing the back wall. Very good, one more. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some heavier weights if we have them. If not, stay with what you got, that's fine too. And we're getting into our squat to press. I love this move because it makes you feel like just a beast because you're literally working every part of your body right now. All right, so squat as low as you can, pressing up as low as you can, pressing up, 
lower body, shoulders, hip. I want you to think to yourself while you're doing this, I'm getting stronger after each rep. I'm a beast. <laughs> we gotta affirm the positive things that are happening within our body and our lifestyles with this challenge. Keeping your core nice and tight, good job. All right, so now let's grab some lighter weights if we have, we're working a different muscle group and go ahead and get into a slight bend of your knee and we're gonna hit some triceps. All right, so I want you to squeeze and point your elbows straight back to the wall, squeezing your triceps. Squeezing those triceps. Good job. Now when you're coming up, it looks like you're doing a bicep curl, but you're really just bringing the weights up so that you can bring them back to hit your triceps. So the focus is really in your triceps for this move. And notice how flat my back is. Make sure that you're not hunched over or poking that booty out, okay? Nice, flat back. Good job. All right, this next move, we're not gonna need any weights. You're welcome. We're gonna go into a plank walk. So you're gonna walk your arms out like so and go into a push-up. Then walking your arms back. I know, I love this move, it's a beast. Let's go. So let's walk it on down, going down into a push-up keeping your body nice and strong. Just make sure that you're holding in that core nice and tight. You should be feeling this move, ladies. If you need to do it in a modified version, then you'd put your knees on the floor there and push up with your knees on the floor to help support your body. But this is how we're gonna get stronger. I want you to push up and remind yourself of your strength. You're gonna get stronger after each rep. So when your body says you wanna quit and turn on Netflix, say, uh-uh, not today. <laughs> not today. Come on, let's go. And that's how it looks if it's modified. But if you can, really push yourself and see if you can do this with a regular push-up. Good. If you have to do some modified and some regular, that's fine. Just listen to your own body. Our intuition is really our own best friend. Good job. Stay strong. Good. One more. Now hold it. I want you guys to hold your plank. I know you don't like me right now, but you, you gonna like me when you look great in that freakum dress. So just hold that plank, keeping your back and your body nice and flat. I take a break if you need to, but get right back in the game. We have to push ourselves if we want to see change. I know it might hurt. You might be sweating like I am. I know I am, but we gotta push ourselves. Good job. All right, ladies, please make sure you're staying nice and hydrated. Super important. And go ahead and grab your heaviest weights, whatever that looks like for you. For me, it's my 15s. And we're gonna go into a simultaneous squat to curl. So we're curling into a bicep press while we're going into a deep squat. Again, working on the whole body. Hit. Focus should be in biceps quadriceps, which are the front of your legs, and your glutes when you're getting up and squeezing. And just keep telling yourself, man, I'm on beast mode. I'm gonna get stronger after each rep because that's what's happening. You're changing your body after each rep. It counts, so don't quit on me. Good job. Very, very good job. All right, now you can grab just one weight. I'm gonna grab my one 10 pound dumbbell and we gonna work some triceps again, all right? So this time, bring the weight behind you. Go ahead and get on your knees. And with your elbows pointing straight up towards the ceiling and your arms close by your ears, I want you to just squeeze and bring that weight all the way up, squeezing your triceps at the top here of each rep. So squeeze your triceps, 
Squeeze, very good. Keeping your abs nice and tight. Good. All right, just a couple more. Good job. Good, good job. Getting stronger, ladies, getting stronger. All right, going right into our next move. Go ahead and put your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart into a deep squat, and I want you to squeeze those biceps in a squat hold. Good job, keeping your back nice and flat. Sit back as if you're sitting back in a chair squeezing your biceps with the one weight in your hand. Good. Good job. All right, quick break, and I do mean quick. This is HIIT training, HIIT style training, so go ahead and grab those dumbbells because we getting right back on into it. I'm grabbing my 15s, and we're gonna go into a nice, slow, controlled beast mode deadlift. Slight bend at the knees, flat back, and you're gonna go ahead and go down, stay there, and do a back row, very good. So deadlift, back row, and up. Now keep your elbows pointing straight up towards the ceiling when you're doing your back row here. Straight back towards the ceiling, good. Getting those hamstrings when you're coming up from the deadlift. Back, up, hamstrings, down, back, okay? Toning our entire physique with this one and with most of them. Good job. And you're also getting your lower back, that nice little curvature that makes the booty come out in a nice S. Yeah, you're hitting that too. <laughs> All right, great job, ladies. You are almost halfway there. You're almost done. So go ahead and grab your weights again. I'm using my 10s. Keeping your weights close to your body, we're gonna go ahead and hop out into a plyometric squat. Hop out. Now when you're coming up, you're gonna squeeze up from your heels to target those glutes. Out, up. This is what it looks like from the side. Targeting your entire lower half here, specifically your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes and you're also getting a little cardio break in here with the hop. Good job. If you feel the burn, which you should, welcome the burn, welcome it. Now pulse it out. Yep, you see it, pulse it out. Only rising up a couple inches to really keep that focus in your glutes. Welcome the burn. That's where all the change comes in. Great job, ladies. Now just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job. Woohoo! shake it out, you should feel that. You should definitely be feeling that in your lower body. All right, ladies, quick break. Go ahead and grab your water. You guys are doing a great job because you're still here and you have not quit on yourself. So let me get a quick dab through the screen, boom. <laughs> I'm proud of all of us because we are all working hard on the women we promised ourselves we're becoming. And that is no small feat, so good job. Next, we're gonna be doing some floor work. So if you don't have a mat, maybe grab All right, so go ahead and get on the floor with your weights and we're gonna do a chest press with a glute bridge. Squeeze, good. Elbow straight back down, up, glute bridge. Chest movement here, glute here. Very good. Now any lying down movements, you definitely wanna check with your doctor if you're pregnant. Uh, some pregnant women are approved to do this move and then some aren't. So it just depends on how far you are in your pregnancy and what your doctor says. So, and that goes for all the moves. Elbows back to the floor, squeezing your glutes. Now go ahead and keep your glutes up in a bridge and we're gonna go into a chest fly. So think of yourself as you're hugging your weights towards your body and you should really be feeling that focus in your chest. And this is great specifically for us moms who 
have breastfed the babies, if you know what I'm saying. It's gonna help tone up our chest muscles. Very good. Keep your glutes activated. Keep that booty activated. Squeeze it up so that your stomach is nice and flat. Go ahead and release, and we're going into skull crushers. And this movement is great for your triceps. Keeping your arms very close together and your elbows pointed towards the opposite wall. When you come up, you're squeezing your triceps and releasing back towards your skull, hence the word or name skull crusher. So squeeze the triceps. Now we're going straight into so keep those weights in front of your chest, squeezing up, working those abs, and if you're pregnant, I definitely do not want you doing this move on your back. Squeezing up, activating that core, specifically targeting our stomach right now. Good job. If you need to put the weights down, that's fine. You can still do sit-ups. So here I want us to go ahead and hit our obliques, keeping your feet off the floor. No using your neck for this move for support, keeping all the focus in your abs. You're almost there, squeeze. Good job. Woo, you guys should be feeling that in your abs. Should definitely be feeling that in your abs. All right, ladies, very short break. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth and go ahead and grab your weights. I'm using my tens. Next, we're moving into a forward lunge with a bicep curl to press. Curl, press, down. Good job. So please make sure you're keeping your leg at a 90 degree angle when you're going down into your forward lunge. Okay, so right here, 90 degree angle, right there with the working leg. Very good. Pressing up, using your quads when you're coming up right here. Very good. Lunge with curl, press. Lunge with curl, press. Good. Come on ladies, stay strong. Each workout is designed to push us and make us stronger, make us more confident, make us more disciplined. It's no quitting. Welcome the burn, welcome the challenge, welcome the pain. This is how we change ourselves, okay? All right, one more. Good job. All right, go ahead and take a break. You've earned it. Grab some water. Water is a big part of our meal plan, ladies, because it really helps uh, to curb cravings and helps us feel more full, helps with clearing skin, helps with just overall feeling like a bad mamma jamma. I was gonna say the other word, but there might be kids watching. All right. So a few more seconds of rest, all right? And that's it. Go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna go into another set of deadlifts, this time with an upright row. So deadlift to row, deadlift to row. Again, targeting our hamstrings with the deadlift and our lower back with the deadlift. And then also targeting our front deltoids and the top of our shoulders with this upright row here. Boom. Good job, keep going. Slight bend at the knees to really hit the hamstrings and lower, lower back here. Good. All right, keep it up. Almost there. Affirm, you are strong. You got this. You're already done with that set, what? So make sure that you're still breathing nice and deep in through your nose, out through your mouth. And let's go ahead and get into a plank. And let's go ahead and get into a shoulder tap. Tapping each side of your shoulder while keeping your core nice and tight. Make sure that you're not swaying your body too much. You're staying as still as possible while still tapping each shoulder. 
This is really good for hitting all of your upper body right now. Abs, shoulders, arms. Now go ahead and come down on your forearms. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, stay strong. And go ahead and hit your hips on each opposite side to target those obliques again, the sides of our abs. Come on, we got this. I don't wanna see you move your chest around. All this action, all the movement should be in your hips. Good. Hold it. Plank. Good job. Let's go ahead and retreat into child's pose. Roll it on up. And good job. All right, another brief break. Grab water if you need to. I hope you guys are sweating like me because I have sweat dripping. That's how I feel like I'm actually getting a good workout in, if I feel challenged and if I'm getting a good sweat. I love that feeling. So welcome to sweat, ladies. All right, so now we're gonna transition back into some lower body. All right, so grab your weights. Eh, I think I'll grab my 10 pounds for this one. And we're going into a lateral lunge. Some people call it a lateral squat, either or. You're gonna go out to the side and lift up with your bicep curl. Feel free to do this move without your weights if your body is too fatigued, but I really wanna challenge you guys that even if you're tired, if you can keep going and you're not feeling dizzy, that you keep challenging yourself. Good job. You're also hitting, by the way, in case you're wondering, you're also hitting some inner thigh. So go ahead and switch opposite side. Stretching your leg out, keeping one leg straight. Good. You guys are getting stronger after each rep, so do not quit on me, you're almost there. Hit, down, curl, good. All right, great job, put those weights down. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Go ahead and grab one weight for this next move. I'm using one 15 pound dumbbell. And with your toes pointed out, I want you to come down into a sumo squat to a calf raise. So what makes it a sumo squat is that you have a little bit more space in between your feet than a traditional squat. Toes pointed outward, and you're coming up with that calf raise, keeping some focus not only in your calf muscles, but also in your quads, boom, there. Good. Chest out, chest up. Always keeping in mind, we're bettering our posture with every workout. Good job. Stay strong, keep going, you guys got this. All right, just a few more. Good. Good job. All right, go ahead and put that weight down if you used weights for that move. Get a quick break, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Moving around, I'm grabbing my five pound dumbbells for this next one. All right, so we're going into a deadlift to shoulder raise combo. This one, make sure you stay bent over to really target those rear deltoids, the back of your shoulder. So, uh, raising your elbows back towards the wall, keeping your arms nice and leveled, raising both arms at the same time to target your upper back. I want you guys to master the functional moves of fitness. So we're gonna be doing a few squats, a few deadlifts, a few shoulder press, a few bicep curls. I want you guys to know the basics and master the basics of fitness. So here, stay down. We're gonna burn out that upper back, baby. So bringing your elbows straight back towards the wall. Bent over, shoulder raise, hit it. You guys should be feeling this in the upper back. Good job, keep going. Good job. Go ahead and go down into a squat to press. Squat, no breaks, keep going. Deep squat, 
keeping your arms together for this one and press it on up. Legs and shoulders. We're almost done with this workout, ladies, so let's finish strong. I want you guys to go to bed tonight proud of yourselves, okay? We're a team. We're in this together. I don't stop, you don't stop. Let's go. Squat to shoulder press. Hit. Keeping your knees behind your toes for the squat. All right, a few more. Finish strong, ladies, finish strong. You got this. Very good. All right, quick break. Grab some water. Keep moving. I just don't want you standing still. You walk in a circle if you have to. Keep that blood moving. All right, go ahead and grab the heaviest pair of weights you have for our last, oh, one of our last moves. And this is gonna be the calf raise. So stand up nice and tall, chest up, and come up on your tippy toes on releve, squeezing your calves. All right, getting our legs ready for those freakum dresses. So just squeeze your calves when you're coming up. Squeeze, making sure you're holding in your core as always so you're not losing your balance. Squeezing those calves. Good job. Good. Keep going. If you need to drop your weights, feel free to do so. But if you are good to go, keep going with your weights. Good job. All right, so good news. It's our last move, bad news. It's a plyo move and it's going to make you sweat. But I need you guys to give me your absolute all propel up in this jump squat, clicking your heels in between reps. And let's just go ahead and burn this out, shall we? Let's go. Click them heels, drop it low. Click them, drop them. You guys got it. Pulse it out if you need to, get back into it. All right, ladies, I really want you to finish this move strong. Last move of the workout. Come on, finish strong. One more. Good job. You guys should be feeling that in your legs. Now go ahead and cool off with one of our other videos. And great job, ladies. I will see you in our next one. Bye.